Hi everybody, this is Kathy Grosskirk with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And I'm changing it up a bit today because I wanted to talk a little bit about introverts versus extroverts. It's really complicated and I don't know if any of you remember last year, probably about this time last year, where I did a really quick video talking about the difference between introverts and extroverts. Well, I wanted to kind of expand on that today and talk a little bit more about another category which kind of fits in the middle. So I hope you enjoy this short little presentation today. Hopefully, as I'm about to demonstrate, you'll see that there's another consideration regarding introverts versus extroverts, and it's more than just it being an and or. So anyway, here is the situation. We often assume that we fit neatly in either box, and then we also assume that others fit in a particular box because of certain outside traits that they exhibit. Whereas in reality, as we are all unique and individual human beings, we do not fit neatly in either category. And as a result, we may fall somewhere on this continuum or squarely in the center. Okay, and there is a term for this. It's called ambivert. And I'll talk a little bit more about this in a little bit. The reality is that we fall somewhere on this spectrum, and many of us fall somewhere towards the middle. So on the next slide, I'm going to talk a little bit more about ambivert so you'll understand a little bit about what it means. So ambiverts may be the best of both worlds. I put this in question marks in the heading on the slide because it does depend on your perception. I tend to be a glass half full person so I tend to look at these things in such a way that I see it as a yes being the best of both worlds for me. But we shall all embrace our unique personalities whatever they may be. But let's explore this personality a bit. First, an ambivert is defined as a person whose personality basically has the balance of extrovert and introverted traits. And you may be an ambivert if you like being the center of attention at times, but you don't like it to last. Another trait is that if you spend too much time alone, you get bored, yet you spend... Uh, too much time around other people, you start feeling like you're losing all your energy and you feel drained. And then some people think you're quiet while others think you're highly social. And that could have a lot to do with where you're at when you're with these people. If you're in a social environment, that may be one image you're projecting. When you're in a work environment, that may be another image that you're projecting. And then, and a work environment or somewhere where you're working with a team, you can perform tasks alone or in a group. You don't have much preference either way. So that's basically what we're looking at when we're looking at an ambivert. They fall somewhere in the middle. And fortunately, you can discover where you fall in this spectrum. And I'm going to talk about this briefly. 16personalities.com. This website is where you can actually go and do a free assessment on yourself to get started. This assessment will get you on the road to uncovering your unique personality type for free. Now, I'm not being paid by these people to promote this tool, but for it being a free resource, it is one of the things that I have found helpful to me because of what you get for the free version of this tool. Anyway, you will get a comprehensive assessment based on the Myers-Briggs 16 personality types. You will receive an email with your test results. And then you can also explore your unique profile and set that up so that way you can access exercises and additional resources to help you understand and master your personality. And you will receive a link to your unique profile that you can share with others. So I encourage you to do this because one of the things that I have realized in my journey is that knowing how I tick will help me work better with others. But also, if you can encourage others on your team to learn how they tick and y'all share the results among each other, then you'll be better informed when you're working together. 
Hopefully this will help you today. Take care, everybody. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics, the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks desktop or online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks desktop or online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.